राधे कृष्ण श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्रीमते रामानुजाय नम वेलकम टू द भक्ति रहस्यम एपिसोड नंबर फोर्टी वन दो इट इज स्टिल अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ अवर रहस्यम नंबर फोर्टी इन द रहस्यम नंबर फोर्टी वी सॉ द ग्रेट डिवोशन एग्जिबिटेड बाय अ लेडी डिवोटी ऑफ स्वामी रामानुजा who goes by the name kongin pirati she was so much devoted to swami ramanuja that she carried his holy slippers or let us call it by its sanskrit name the divine paduka with her when she went from shrirangam to her native place kongnad maybe it's a good idea to give a small recap of the episode number 40 so we saw kungil pirati coming from her native place kungnad because there was a drought in her place and she had moved to shrirangam for a temporary time period till the conditions in her native place were fine during her stay in Shrirangam she got devoted to Swami Ramanuja his teachings and she started chanting the mantra Om Namo Narayana continuously now some years passed and when things got better at her native place Kungnad it was time for her to return back that is the point in time when she meets Swami Ramanuja for the last time in shrirangam and requests him to give something which he possessed as his remembrance so kungil pirati would carry that and keep it in her memories forever that is when swami ramanuja says that he is a sanyasi he doesn't possess anything and kungil pirati very cleverly asks him for his padukas or the slippers which he was wearing at that time swami ramanuja happily gives it to kungil pirati and she returns back now the story continues or where we ended our rahasyam 40 was kungil pirati had many divine experiences with this holy paduka so the point which we tried to drive in our previous bhakti rahasyam number 40 was in our sanatana dharma there are various symbols which help us to connect with god which help us to establish that peace of mind which we are chasing and this holy paduka was one such example of a symbol which could lead to a connect with the divine and that's what we are going to see in today's episode uh, as to what experiences what divine experiences kongil pirati had now the story goes like this where she is back to her kongnad the region has turned prosperous and now she wants to worship these holy padukas regularly but as in those days she feared that her husband or her in-laws would criticize her for this practice of worship worshiping the padukas of her guru so she tried to come out of that situation by hiding those padukas in an earthen pot and keeping it in her kitchen and she used to worship those padukas secretly now it so happened that her mother in law grew suspicious of her behavior she was always thinking what is this lady always doing in a particular corner of the kitchen secretly because whenever kongil pirati used to cook food she used to first offer them to the paduka then only it was served to everyone in the house now 
this mother in law of kungil birati decided to find out what was going on so one night when everybody was asleep she sneaks into that particular corner which raised her suspicion and she does find an earthen clay pot she opens it and from that pot hisses out a snake so swami ramanuja if we recall in our earlier episodes he is the incarnation of none other than the adi sesha who is the serpent bed of lord vishnu so he decided that is swami ramanuja decided to come in front of kongil pirati's mother in law in his serpent form that episode of seeing a snake terrified kongil pirati's mother in law to such an extent that immediately the next morning she started floating sinister theories that her daughter in law was trying to kill her by planting snakes or growing snakes in the kitchen that is when kongil pirati came out very clean with her devotion she said there are no snakes in those pot but what she has hidden there is the holy padukas of her guru swami ramanuja but her mother in law vouches for it that she had seen a snake hissing out of the pot so there was a disconnect there that is when kongil pirati explains the entire sequence of incidents starting from the drought and her trip to shri rangam meeting swami ramanuja getting his blessings getting to chant om namo narayana and then finally concluding with the trip where she asked for these padukas as a remembrance having narrated those details she takes her mother in law and her husband to open the ardhan pot and now with the presence of this devotee the padukas showed with their original form as padukas and not the snakes so that's when her mother in law realizes that well there is some truth behind what kongil pirati narrated and thus she openly permitted kongil pirati to worship those slippers or the padukas as it is rather than hiding them in a clay pot so this was say prayer number 1 for kongil pirati which was answered because for quite a long time she was feeling and she was praying to the divine padukas that this no longer needs to be a secret the significance or the importance of the padukas need to be known to all and there should come a day where she should be able to carry on with her worship in an open manner so this prayer was answered with the particular episode of the padukas appearing as a snake to her mother in law and then the truth coming out now days passed kongil pirati was happily worshiping the padukas in open and her life continued now she started realizing certain things so she felt that when there was a heavy drought in her native place that led her to move to shri rangam temporarily she could get in touch with her guru she could see him daily and life was passing by happily in such a manner now when the prosperity has returned to her region now she has no shortage of the various things in her life yet what was missing was that personal connect with the guru now she also realized that with these circumstances it would be nearly impossible for her to go back to shri rangam because it's 1000 years back when these incidents happened so one can imagine the connectivity or the transportation wouldn't have permitted a frequent movement between two different places two far off places so she fervently prayed again to the padukas that somehow she should be able to get 
a personal darshan of swami ramanuja in the balance of her lifetime so this was now her constant prayer now lord krishna is someone who answers to the call of his devotees he never fails his devotees to answer to this fervent prayer of kongil pirati the lord has the plan now swami ramanuja staying in srirangam had some issues with the ruling king there and because of some circumstances the king forced swami ramanuja to leave the region of srirangam again this is the lord's divine play it is at his will he made swami ramanuja move out of the uh, land of srirangam else it was not possible for anyone to just ask swami ramanuja to move so it was a part of the lord's plan to ensure that swami ramanuja's divine blessings were spread beyond srirangam and for this he played a leela now swami ramanuja had to move out and for some reason again there is a story behind that that would again consume another episode so i am not going into the details of what led swami ramanuja to move out of shirangam another thing was he moved out in disguise not known to anybody with few selected devotees now he traveled towards the region of karnataka melkote where he established some temples and there is still that place melkote is very well known for its association with swami ramanuja so as he was traveling towards that region now this melkote and kungnad these are close by so he had to pass through a lot of dense forests and there were various tribes which he met on the way but none knew him as swami ramanuja they just they were able to identify this group as a group of devotees now when swami ramanuja met one particular tribal leader he asked the group to go to a particular place where they could have food and the tribal leader offered to take this group to that particular place now this place happens to be the residence of kungil pirati now see the divine play of the lord by ensuring that swami ramanuja was out of shirangam with the play of his divine forces he led him right to the footsteps of kungil pirati's residence and this was kungil pirati's prayers the strength of her prayers to the paduka which led the lord to make swami ramanuja come to her place now when the group came to the place again kungil pirati was unable to identify them as uh, swami ramanuja or his disciples it was dark in the night but the group introduced themselves as uh, a devotees group coming from srirangam so she was very happy just by hearing the word srirangam she started cooking for the group now she cooked food and as per her tradition as per her custom she offered the food to the paduka of swami ramanuja unknown to her that swami ramanuja was very much sitting in her residence now some of the devotees saw this particular episode where she was offering the food to something because again they couldn't make out that it is a paduka because of the darkness then they go back to swami ramanuja and report to him that this lady did cook food but then she offered it to something which we couldn't see so when the time came for offering the food when she offered it to the disciple group that's when swami ramanuja doesn't partake of that food because he tells her that uh, she had offered it first to some something else which was a secret so 
the group asked her what that was about so again she gets a chance to narrate the significance of the divine padukas and she starts from the drought time ending with the time when she took the padukas from swami ramanuja on hearing the story of these divine padukas the excitement and tension amongst the devotees group grew they were feeling as if she was narrating this incident in front of swami ramanuja but not knowing that he was there physically yet they didn't openly declare that it was swami ramanuja in front of her now even swami ramanuja decided to test her he said we have come from shrirangam one of us is swami ramanuja now hearing this kongil birati's excitement knew no bounds but again she couldn't identify the faces because of the darkness so swami ramanuja said we all will stand in a particular line if what you say is true that swami ramanuja himself gave him gave uh, her the divine padukas then she should be able to correctly identify just by seeing the holy feet now kongil pirati's devotion was unparalleled by just praying to the padukas she could make her prayers come true and such was her devotion to her guru that identifying her guru by looking at the feet of various disciples was not a difficult task for her in as as the group stood in a line just by looking at the various feet of the group standing there she could identify the correct feet of swami ramanuja and pointed out that this was swami ramanuja and placed the padukas in front of him swami ramanuja was very happy that his disciple had correctly identified her and he blessed her for happiness devotion throughout her life whatever she asked for now again just see the power of devotion it was the power of devotion the power of devotion to the guru the power of devotion to the symbol or the object of her worship which led her to get her prayers answered once it was for her family to openly accept her devotion the second was for calling the guru himself to her place to have a darshan then the story goes that she has a conversation a spiritual conversation with swami ramanuja and his devotees and then she also makes her husband meet swami ramanuja and they both enjoy that divine experience where even the husband turns out turns to be a devotee of swami ramanuja and it is a heartening fact to know that the descendants of the family of kongil pirati till date they stay in shri rangam it would be a great bliss to meet this family and they have a designated identified address so one can go and meet those descendants of this divine lady kongil pirati so that was all from our bhakti rahasyam number 41 a continuation of number 40 where we saw the greatness and the great devotion displayed by kongil pirati so that's all from our current bhakti rahasyam stay blessed stay devoted and stay tuned for our next bhakti rahasyam radhe krishna shri guru bhyo namaha shri mate ramanujaye namaha